Hi, it's Haley again, and today I'm going to be continu continuing the book Break an Egg. The book would help her win the role of Team Malm. Not that she needed a lot of help in that department. She already knew Team Mom's part really well because Aunt Mac and Cheese also she had tons of stage experience last year. She'd played nasty old Mick, Miss Hagen and Annie the year before she'd played in played Ray in the Princess and F the Frog. She took her craft seriously. She wanted to be a movie star when she grew up and a dentist too because she thought teeth were cool plus maybe a veterinarian like her mom. Her dad who owned a pizza restaurant liked to call her a triple threat in the making because of her three future careers. Mostly, though, she wanted to be a movie star, and Penelope Periwinkle has had lots of smart advice about that. She turned to the chapter about breathing. There's the page right there. She's thinking about what, like, um, she should be when she grows up. And then there's her book right there. A great actor must have excellent breath control, stated Penelope Periwinkle. She took a couple of quick painting breaths, like Sugar did whenever she wanted a bitty bite, a bitty bites puppy treat. She pictured herself as Team Mountain. Breathing very ex excitingly, excellently, as she rescued Daniel, the with wealthy boy from the other side of the island during a terrible rainstorm. To develop your breath, try this exercise. Lie down on a flat surface. Place something light on your stomach and place something light on your stomach. She glanced around her room, her lava lamp, too heavy, her dinosaur tooth collection, not heavy enough. Her gaze landed sugar, hmm. She reached over and picked up the little Morky. She lay back on her scanty turquoise bedspread and blanched sugar on her stomach. She held the book with both hands. Breathe in and out deeply and slowly, Penelope Periwinkle instructed. She breathed in and out. And slowly, sugar blinked at her. As you breathe, watch the object on your stomach go up and down, up and down. Sugar went up and down, up and down. The next time you breathe out, say, Ah! Said Shay, Woof! Barked Sugar. Now breathe the sound. There's the picture right there. Okay. I, my, what I'm trying to do is like, I'm trying to like, make it so you can see the picture.
said Shay. Woof! Barked Sugar. Breathe out the sound. Ooh. Ooh. Said Shay. Woof! Barked Sugar. The door opened and Patches trotted into the room. Patches was part collie and part German shepherd and part of a bunch of other things. She squatted by the bed and star stared up at Shay and Sugar. Ow! She howled. A few seconds later, Noodle the Poodle came in too. Ow! She howled. A few seconds. Oh, um, I already read that. Um, oh, he howled. Soon, all five dogs were in the room howling. Sugar included. Shay's family had a lot of pets because Mama was always bringing home strays from the veterinary clinic. Are you guys interrupting my process? Shay scolded them. What you doing, Shay Shay? Her little sister, Samantha, stood in the doorway, swinging her purple dragon, Mr. Firebreath, by the tail. She had dressed him up in a tidy doll apron and baby booties are you conducting conducting a dog orchestra samantha asked conducting and no i'm practicing for a very 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 important audition didn't you see the sign on my door she made a stern teacher face and pointed to the piece of paper taped to her door she had scribbled do not disturb on it in big letters with shark and princess stickers only the u and r and b were visible jacob had struck again uh <sighs> Shay grumbled. What's the... Uh, what's the addition for? Can I addition to? Can I addition to? Asked Samantha. Audition? And no, you can't. You're too little. I'm not too little. I am five and one quarter. It's the third grade musical. So, kindergarten is almost third grade. Kids, time to wash up for dinner. Their dad called up the stairs. Footsteps pounded down the hall. Jacob ran by Shay's doorway, wearing nothing but a diaper. Wearing nothing but a diaper. And a feather boa. Their older brother, J. Maul, chased after him. One of the marmalade 
kitties, either purball or furball, tailed after Jemima. The dog scrambled out of Shay's room and followed the group of yipping and barking. Daddy, are we having spaghetti with red sauce for dinner? Can I have the super duper quadruple Parmesan cheese? Samantha shouted. She squeezed her eyes shut and covered. His picture. How was she supposed to study great acting with all of this noise? And then she remembered something. Penelope Periwinkle had written in chapter one, a great actor must be able to focus even though coats. Cahoos? Coats? I don't know. I don't know what that word. Uh, I'm just going to say it's Cahoos. Shay nodded to herself, feeling very wise. Cahoos was crazy stuff happening all at once. Cahoos hadn't kept T. Mountain from being a rave heroine. Heroine. Cahos wouldn't help sh keep Shay from being a great actor. A snooper duper, a super duper quadruple great actor. Uh -huh. So there's the page number one picture. There's the page number one. Here's the page number one picture. Here's the page number two picture. So there, there are them, and they're getting chased by animals, technically. Yeah. Um.